The new Microsoft Flight Simulator presents the world in stunning detail. What makes that possible is a partnership with Bing Maps that leverages an unprecedented amount of spatial data. Our mission on Bing Maps is to make the best map available. We're building a model of the world, and that ambition has led to a massive investment in imagery and spatially accurate 3D technology. We're not just showing data, we're showing the real world. The first time I saw the Bing Maps data in the Flight Simulator game engine, my comment was, wow, they really make our data look good. As a pilot, I'm very impressed uh, with the current version. The realism is fantastic. I've used Flight Simulator to do informal instrument practice with all the navigation aids and the cockpit instruments. My name is Jesse Levine, and I'm a program manager in Bing Maps. Next, some of my teammates are going to share with you some of the exciting technology Bing Maps is bringing to the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. My name is Mike Gilbert. I'm a principal software development engineer uh, on Bing Maps. Microsoft has a long history and a pioneer in mapping geospatial imagery. When Carter World Atlas in 1995, Terra Server in 1998, Streets and Trips products and Virtual Earth became the mapping component of the Bing search engine and was eventually rebranded as Bing Maps. In 2013, Bing Maps added the next generation photorealistic 3D imagery of 400 popular areas of interest. All of the Bing Maps 2D and 3D imagery, along with high resolution elevation data, are visible in Flight Simulator 2020 and to all Windows 10 users via the Windows Maps application. One of the challenges we had as a mapping product that maps the real world is providing content in a way that can then be seamlessly integrated with an entire computer-generated world. That means providing content that can blend in with the auto-generated scenery, for example. We don't want to break the illusion that what they're seeing uh, in the game is not really there. A typical example would be the Space Needle in Seattle. It's got complex geometry. Uh, the algorithms don't always reconstruct that in a, a way that's visually pleasing. So we had a lot of editor time that had to go into that. Anytime you see a landmark structure in one of our cities that is uh, very finely rendered, it's probably one of our 3D editors that have uh, uh, touched up the algorithmic output. My name is Grayson Myers, and I'm an engineering manager on the Bing Maps team. Currently, Microsoft sources geospatial imagery from industry-leading aerial and satellite providers, and keeping the world up to date with high-quality imagery is a massive investment. To make the best imagery investments for our users, we look at usage, change signals, vintage, and other inputs to determine when to update an area and what type of imagery to use. To create a worldwide imagery base map, we use satellite imagery at 30 to 50 centimeters per pixel resolution. This works well for large natural features and larger buildings. On top of that, we layer aerial imagery at a resolution of 7.5 to 30 centimeters in more populated areas. Aerial imagery is more challenging to acquire, but provides a crisper, higher resolution view that allows visualization of features even down to the street level. Over the past year, we've spent a significant amount of effort refreshing these beautiful aerial views, with over 750,000 square kilometers now covered worldwide. The bird's eye views that we've developed over the years are some of the most interesting things. So that's taken from an oblique angle, so you're no longer looking straight down. You're looking from the side a little bit, maybe up to 45 degrees, and that lets you see a whole lot more detail. Not only does oblique imagery offer unique views to our customers, it is a key ingredient for our 3D cities. You can start to see the sides of buildings, signage, even down to the level of individual cars and street furniture and things like that. Hi, I'm Duncan Lawler. I'm an engineering manager here at Bing Maps. We're trying to build a full photorealistic 3D model of the world and then be able to serve that in real time to clients as small as mobile phones. Microsoft Flight Simulator is fundamentally different from all the previous consumer flight simulators in that this is the first time that we've been able to provide to the user not just a realistic portrayal of the world, but the actual real world data. We're streaming live petabytes of information High quality imagery alone is not enough to create a compelling 3D world. Using some of our aerial imagery, Microsoft's photogrammetric reconstruction pipeline is able to create city scale detailed 3D models of the Earth's surface. Now the way we're able to do this is by leveraging Azure scalability and using advanced 3D reconstruction algorithms. In doing so, large sections of the world have been mapped to an incredible level of detail and accuracy. 
And the scale of the 3D models that we're able to deliver is only possible due to the processing strength that we have in Azure and our photogrammetric pipeline that we've developed, where we've done fully textured 3D models that show details as small as a few centimeters. And each city that we've modeled is larger individually than most of the entire game area of the largest open world games out there. And collectively, the area that we've been able to model covers more than 150,000 square kilometers. So this has led to a great partnership with Microsoft Flight Simulator, where they're able to leverage that huge, vast area that we've created in 3D. We were able to bring Bing's expertise in large-scale spatial data and being able to serve data at scale and combine that with Microsoft Flight Simulator's AI-driven rendering and world simulation techniques. Microsoft Flight Simulator presents Bing 3D data at its absolute best. Of course, users will also want to see areas beyond the 400 3D city areas that we have the detailed textured models for. Outside of these detailed city areas that were produced by our 3D pipeline, we still have 3D data, and it's just elevation data for all of the land area of the entire world. This data really helps fill in the massive world in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The elevation data, while not as precise as the textured 3D models in the cities, is still able to faithfully represent most natural feature areas. So you can see things like rivers, canyons, mountains. It's a unique product that blends many commercial, open source, and Microsoft generated data sets into a single seamless world elevation model. One thing many people don't realize is that the same mapping technology that's powering Microsoft Flight Simulator is built into every version of Windows 10. Just open the map application from your start menu and browse around the world to view our 3D cities and terrain in photorealistic 3D. Heading into the future, we're committed to pushing the realism of our world model. We're excited to get our hands on even higher resolution imagery and advanced 3D processing. Projects like Microsoft Flight Simulator really illustrate just how awesome maps can be. And we're very excited for the ride.